When starting in on research, a lot of students, especially those in the health sciences, focus only on journal articles, but sometimes books are useful resources as well. There are two access points for the library's book catalog. The first one is in the center of the screen, and that one's okay for a quick search, but I prefer the catalog link over here under the quick links because it allows you to sort by date, which can be very convenient. Okay, so this is what the library's catalog search box looks like. There's all these tabs, and there's these search limits, and there's, oh, there's just so much going on. No worries. For now, I just want to show you the basics. We're going to go into a lot more detail on the library's catalog later on in the semester. I'm going to do a search on distance learning within the Quick Search. And using the Quick Search means that the catalog is going to search for distance learning either in the title, in the table of contents, the subject headings, and more. My number one tip is to change how these results are sorted. The library catalog defaults to sorting books in alphabetical order. This is very librarian-ish, but not useful in any real way. So, change it to sort the books by date. To do this, you go to Sort Results By and select Publish Date Descending. That's a very fancy way of saying put the most recent books up at the top. Alright, that's much better. My big complaint with our catalog is how jumbled it looks. I mean, there's so much text here. Let me point out the most relevant pieces. On the top line, you've got the book title and the year it was published. Then, on the second line, you have where the book is, the call number, and if it's checked out or not. If it's a print book, it will list the library or floor it's on. If it's an ebook, it will say ebook as the location. Also, there's a lot of government documents within the catalog, and these are usually not books. They are most likely reports. Sometimes these are handy, and sometimes they're not. Okay, now this is where you go through your results and find one that looks relevant and interesting for your research needs. I'm going to select number 8 here, Motivating and Retaining Online Students. Okay, once you click on the title link, you get into what's called the book's record or the place where you can get a lot of the details about the book. This top section lists the author, the publisher, a description, and in this case, a link to the ebook. So we don't have this book in print, just online. You can get to the full book just by clicking on the link. This is really convenient if you don't want to have to trek down to the library, or if you don't want to have to order it if you're a distance student. The next section lists the location. If this were a print book, it would tell you what library or what floor the book is on, and then it lists the call number. You can virtually browse the shelves by clicking on the call number link. I think this is super cool, but of course, I'm a librarian, so my idea of cool is probably really different than yours. Next are the subject headings. These are the descriptors which are given to every book. They sometimes are kind of weird, but they can make your search so much better. Just click on one that looks relevant for your research to bring up all the other resources that have the same subject heading. In this case, this one has 22 other books or resources that have that same subject heading. You click on the call number to bring those up, and there they are. And several of those are really relevant to my research. And finally, some of the book records will list a table of contents and or a summary of the book. This can help you decide if you really want to try and track that book down. All right, that is it for a basic library catalog search. Remember, we will go be going into much more detail later on in the semester.